So, first job on today's list is refilling the propane. So we got our oven and stove right here, which is also on gimbal. Anyway, um, this one takes propane and butane gas. Uh, in America, they use methane gas. Most homes use methane gas for your bar barbecue or when you go on a camping trip. Normally, that's propane. This here in my hand is a French fitting for the propane tanks here because around the world you never know what kind of fitting they're going to be using or what kind of melange of different gases that they're going to be putting in. Alright, so we've got these two hose fittings. Uh, I'm going to create an adapter by connecting the two of these together. Boom! Putting it through putting this hose on the uh, brass barbed hose connector allowing me to create one hose by combining the both of them. So this side is for the Moroccan propane tank and this side is for the American propane tank and FYI Australian propane tank. So this turns out to be the correct size that matches the propane tanks over there. They did not allow us to take theirs and fill ours up at our boat. So we're gonna obviously grab ours and bring them over here to fill up. All right, so we're at the propane station. We've got our propane here. Now we're just gonna transfer what's in here into there and there. First order of business is to open up these two valves here. I got a glove on just in case uh, this ice cold propane doesn't freeze my hand off. Now here comes the flies. <laughs> so when transferring propane, normally you want to have the tank that's getting filled to be cold, either like put it in the freezer overnight or something like that, or dip it in water, or keep it in the shade, whatever is available to you. Just try and keep it as cool as possible. And then the one that you're emptying, have that one be warm, Normally just set it outside in the sun, that should do the job. Uh, this speeds up the process when you're dealing with propane and you know refilling it or whatever. Good idea to weigh it just so that you know exactly how much you're putting into it or when it's done. So we use this little fish scale. Just boom, hook it. All right, well, it's pretty much coming out. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, look how cold it is. See that? It's all white. Closing it. Oh, got it. That's how it's done.